I believe uh, in the last couple of videos we, we, we got to the handicapping screen and let me uh, refamiliarize yourself with with that screen that's the only screen that has the menu bar available and um, what we're going to talk about in this video is uh, is track profiles track profiles are the most that's the most important concept for you to understand when using quick course all right what is a track profile a track profile is actually just a file on your disk drive and it's a file that quick course automatically uh, accesses as you handicap races and as you change the way you want to handicap uh, quick uh, quick course automatically records the information changes you make to that track profile now let me let me give you an example okay we're handicapping uh, at Charlestown and we're using the pace rating jockey class method all right this particular method has items we can change we can change what are referred to as weighting factors which will tell quick horse how important we feel certain calculations are in addition we can use method filters so we click method filters we can make changes here we can set up any of these items I'm not going to go over these items you need to uh, read the help to find out how to use uh, this particular display uh, we'll press the right mouse button to go back to the handicapping display but the bottom line is quick horse is automatically going to save all of the information that you change about a particular handicapping method so what it needs to know is and and here is the name of a, the file this particular file it's right up here at the top of the uh, window it shows the method name which APRCJ is the short name you can see that down here it includes the track name uh, in this case Charlestown and it will include the surface being run on and Charlestown it only has one track it's a dirt track so DI is dirt so that's kind of the naming uh, method that quick horse uses okay now you can see from this as we go to the next race uh, and uh, this is a six and a half furlong race of course it's same method same track and the same surface go to the next race this is a four and a half furlong race same method same uh, track same surface now you might say to yourself well I might not want to use the same settings for this uh, APRCJ method for the shorter sprint than I would for the longer sprint race and that is something quick horse will allow you to do by allowing you to change the number of track profiles that you can create for a certain track um, or all tracks actually so if you handicap four and a half furlong races differently in other words you would you would change these values for the filters or you would change these weighting settings then you want to set up your track profiles and we do that with the file menu button and this option the second option you would want to set up your track profiles to be different for every distance to do that all we do is set distance equal to yes now let's see what happens we, we make our setting we press the right mouse button to exit this now look what's happened up here to the name of our track profile it includes the method name the track surface and a distance four and a half furlongs is 990 yards now let's go back here's our six and a half furlong notice what's happened all right so now quick course has created a different track profile depending on the track the the surface and the distance so let's see if we can find another race six and a half 
six and let's uh, let's use our select race click select race it'll tell you here's a nine furlong so we're going to click on that and we're going to see if our track profile uh, name changes sure enough it's changed so any settings we make are going to be stored for this particular track profile let me show you what I mean let's say we select method filters and we're going to change this to six so we make the change to six press the right mouse button it's changed to six go back that has been recorded now for a nine furlong race let's go backward to the four and a half let's let's look at the method filter we see it's still five because we didn't change it for the four and a half now if we go back to the nine for a long race and look at it see how it's changed to six so we can create a different number of tracks the same track same method but different track profiles for distances all right now suppose Charlestown had cheap maiden claimers but then some you know, minor allowance races would you handicap those differently if if not then okay fine you just want to handicap based on distance in your track profiles but if you want it to handicap using different class or what we refer to as grade you could use a particular race grade you could handicap according to what we call a class tier a class tier is it's either a claiming race it's an allowance race or it's a stakes race so there are three tiers you could also set up your track profiles to use uh, the class level so there are different class levels there are 10 class levels there are the lowest from say a class level of 10 to the highest which is like a class level of 99 or 100 okay so there are 10 class levels All right you can you can set that up how does that how does that change the name if we set this and then click back notice quick course considers this a level four so there's a level one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, actually there's a level zero through level nine and this is a level four okay a quick course is auto automatically going to assign those levels for you if we go back to the four and a half furlong race that was also a level four Go back to the six and a half also happens to be a level four race okay now if you want to learn about how these levels are are calculated of course that's that's something we can talk about in another video but just just know that you can handicap every different type of race and then have quick horse automatically take care of that the only thing you do is set your track profiles up using these three buttons now if you wish to handicap and maintain several different sets of track profiles suppose you want to use one set of track profiles for wagering on win bets and another set of track profiles entirely for wagering on exacto wagers then is when you use something we call a track profile folder so a track profile folder just acts as a folder on your computer that has all of your track profiles that you use in a certain condition all right so if I click track profile folder you'll say that you'll see that we've delivered a particular track profile folder with your installation of quick horse and if we select that it's automatically going to set the conditions here these particular track profiles take into account any condition they are based on the distance of the race and the class tier so there are any one of tier one tier two tier three because we have three class tiers those are set up notice notice the numbers these are numbers that have been generated that we've generated the method filters using 10 past races trouble races are excluded these settings are going to ex exclude surface we're going to exclude any past outings that are sloppy or muddy okay so these are the track profiles 
So that just give you give you an example. And if you go to the next race, four and a half furlongs, notice what changes automatically. And that concludes our uh, our video.